activist country. It's gotta be super country. KGMS 100.1 Kingman. George Strait. George Strait. George Strait. Hi, this is George Strait. Hi, this is Thank you. Oh, no. And on 103.5 Lake Havasu City. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, broadcasting from the heart of historic Route 66. Time and Flex in the morning, KG Men Super Country. We're back in the studio with Lexi Liu. How are you, Lexi? I'm wonderful. So, um, where are you from originally? Georgia. Georgia. What part of Georgia? Douglasville. Douglasville? Mm -hmm. The small town? Used to be. It's growing up. It's about 30 minutes outside of Atlanta West. Okay. And, um, so now Atlanta's grown so much, they put a big mall uh, one exit down from where my parents' house is. Oh, very nice. And so it's growing up, but. What's the population out there? You know, honestly, I don't know. No? No. Nope. Okay, we're kind of, we're not, Kingland's, uh, I think we're around like 50,000 or something like that. Okay. So, I mean, it's, it's not small, but it's not big either. So, you know, you know a right. lot of people, see a lot of people around town from school and everything that you grew up with. So it's kind of like one of those places, or is it? Yeah, it's kind of like one of those places, yeah. definitely. So those are always nice. Do you think, uh, your, uh, upbringing and like your, you know, where you're from in Georgia and everything, does that inspire your writing as well? Course. Yeah. It has a lot of influence on everything, on my daily living. Yeah. 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 And there's a song that you wrote also called Roses. Is that you? Is that inspired by your hometown? Uh, Roses was actually inspired by um, suicide. Okay. So it, we had, um, whenever I was younger, there was a lot of um, people who suffered se severely from depression in my life, and mm -hmm. a couple of them took their own life. And um, I was in a writing session in Nashville, one of my first writing sessions, and I had to run out because I'd received a concerning text. And then the person that I ran out on called me that night and was like, hey, I'm leaving town at 6 a.m., but we need to write this song, and it's midnight. Mm -hmm. We stayed up till like 4 or 5 writing this song, and it was a, the first time I just got into a room and everything kind of just flowed out how it was supposed to and you just when you get into a room writing a song you never know how it's going to go and if you just let this song take its own course that's kind of like its own yeah exactly so yeah that was the first song that did that for me and do you have a music video that goes on with that i do you do where can you find yeah. that at on youtube very nice just look up Rosie. and so uh in your college career i kind of want to go back to the audio engineering thing um you graduated with a bachelor's in audio engineering i did okay and uh what was uh was there anybody uh any notable events or anything like that throughout your college career, you know, that you also help, you know, think help inspire you to start creating songs yourself? Yeah, so I, I was going to skip class one day, and, <laughs> yeah, and so I, I come in, you know, 20 minutes late, and uh, we had a speaker, and his name is Jamie Tate, and he is the owner of a studio in, in Nashville called The Ruckus Room, and he invited the whole class out to come in you know, um, see how an uh, actual recording session goes down in Nashville and just to observe. And I was the only one who took him up on that. And while I was there working with Jamie, he taught me so much about engineering and I don't think I would have made it through school without him. Yeah. Um, but he's also the person that was like, hey, show me what you have or what, what do you want to do? And then I showed him some songs and he was like, you need to do this. And then I just kind of took it and ran so, with it. You said uh, before we had gone to a break that, uh, you were gonna play a song for us. What song is that? Yeah, so this is a new song of mine. It's called Free. Okay. So it's it's mostly about um I got married two years ago mm -hmm. and um in the beginning of a marriage, you know, you kinda gotta figure things out, I think. And so yeah. it's about that, just taking a taking a step back and taking a breath. I get that. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. Okay, would you like to play that? For I'd us? love to, yeah. Alright, this is Breathe by Lexi Lou. Mm -hmm. Rewind, rethink, love 
love's not easy. We'll deal with the trouble, get through the struggle, baby. Please remember to breathe. We're like two ships in the night, merely passing by. Out of sight and out of mind We work our same old routine Not changing anything Just trying to survive But take time to breathe Love me slowly When we're on the brink and it feels like we're sinking actually a demo right now so that'll be coming out on her next album when she cuts that uh, sometime next year um, she's about to play us a song called roses so just a little background on that again we had talked about it earlier but yeah so roses was inspired by um, a friend who tried to take her life and then um, after roses was written I never got the opportunity to show her the song and she followed through with uh, taking her life a few months afterwards and um, so then I was just like, yeah, I have to put this out there because if I don't, you know. Um, so I did, and I, it got picked up by a radio station in Georgia, um, a backyard country, 94.9 The Bull. It went number one for 10 weeks on their, uh, that little section. And I, I, I got a lot of really positive responses from it, um, people calling in and telling me how they feel that mental illness needs to be talked about more openly as a physical illness or something. Um, I agreed with them, and I, I just thought it was great that I was able to touch at least one person, because that's all so, you yeah, it's all you, if you reach one do. person, yeah. absolutely. So, yeah. so and uh, yeah, I understand that too, you know, like my time in the military and everything like that, um, you know, I had a lot of friends dealing with, you know, mental health issues and stuff like that, and they wouldn't yeah. get help, or, you yeah. know, and it just, it compounds over time, you know, until it, it, it reaches that point. You know, and yes. so nobody nobody wants to get to that point. So if anybody is dealing with that, there are people to talk to, and you're not alone out there. So, and so this song that she's going to sing is "Roses," and it's about that. It's by Alexi Wu. Don't 
that song on Spotify? Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, there's a music video for it. Okay, very nice. And you have a Facebook page and Instagram? Yes. Okay. Well. So if you want to find her, that's uh, Lexi Lou on Facebook and you have, uh, what is it on Instagram? It's Lexi Lou Music. So L-E-X-I-L-E-W Music. Okay, very Lexi nice. Music. So if anybody wants to follow her, you can find that out there or her website, LexiLou.com. Exactly. All right, very yeah. nice. So thank you for coming in. So before we go, uh, what would you tell anybody that's listening that's, you know, out here that maybe is wanting to pursue, you know, a career in country music or anything like that. I would tell them, go big or go home, go out, follow your dreams. You know, you, you never know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I think that um, one of the most inspiring quotes I've heard is from a movie. Um, I can't recall the name off the top of my head, but he stated that it takes 20 seconds of insane courage to walk up and do something that you wouldn't normally do. And I promise you something good will come out of it. I like that. So I just try and live by that. I would tell them to do that. No, just walk up to somebody and ask them because the worst they can say is no. Yeah, I, you know? I, I get that. Yeah. <laughs> I feel that same way. So, yeah. So if you're out there, yeah, that's uh, that's advice coming from people that are out there. And that's been the same, you know, message talking about those things with everyone that's come in here this week, you know. And it's like really, you know, go out and just do it. You yeah, you, you just got to say, all right, I'm done not doing it. I'm, you got to stop being afraid and just do it. Exactly. Yeah, life is short, so you yeah. got to do what you love. Thanks for coming in, Lexi. Appreciate Thank you for having it. me. All right, and uh, that'll be for the Hualpai's uh, writer conference or er, uh, showcase and concert. Yeah. So that'll be this weekend. It's actually sold out already, I believe. It is. So, it's, it's oversold. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That's always great. But they'll be back here next year. This is their fourth one, if I'm. Yes. Fourth. All right. So yeah, they'll be here next year. So if anybody's interested in going out to that next year, always pay attention. Of course, they'll be back here next year. We'll be doing these interviews and you can find tickets and we'll even promote it before that. So you can uh, get in there and see these folks play. Thanks for listening, folks. Next, we have uh, Bartender by Lady Antebellum coming up. This is Tom and Flex in the morning.